स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ क्लास टेंथ साइंस वीकली टेट सीरीज टू सो अवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वट आर एम्फोटेरिक ऑक्साइड्स गिव एनी टू एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ दीज सो इट्स आंसर इज ऑक्साइड्स दैट रिएक्ट विद बोथ एसिड्स and bases to form salt and water are known as amphoteric oxides amphoteric oxides show properties of both acids and bases example lead oxide pbo and aluminum oxide al2o3 our next question is write down the electron dot structure of sodium oxygen and magnesium so students in sodium there is only one electron in its outermost shell so we write one dot on sodium na and there are six electrons in outermost shell of oxygen so we write six dots on oxygen and there are only two electrons in the outermost shell of magnesium so we write two dot on magnesium mg so these are the electron dot structure of sodium oxygen and magnesium our next question is aluminum is a very reactive metal but it is still used to make cooking utensils why its answer is this is because aluminum reacts with oxygen present in air to form a thin layer of aluminum oxide this oxide layer is very stable and prevents further reaction of aluminum with oxygen also it is light in weight and a good conductor of heat hence it is used to make cooking utensils our next question is why are sodium and potassium stored in kerosene so its answer is sodium and potassium are very reactive metals if kept open these can react with oxygen and water and may catch fire hence sodium and potassium are kept immersed in kerosene to prevent their reaction with oxygen and moisture our next question is explain the structure and working method of nephron so its answer is nephrons are the basic filtering units of kidneys each kidney possesses large number of nephrons approximately 1 to 1.5 million the main component of the nephron are glomerulus bowman capsule and a long renal tube now we are going to discuss functioning of a nephron the water and solute are transferred to the nephron at bowman's capsule through the glomerulus in the proximal tubule some substances such as amino acids glucose and salts are selectively reabsorbed and unwanted molecules are added in the urine the filtrate then moves down into the loop of henle where more water is absorbed from here the filtrate moves upwards into the distal tubule and finally to the collecting duct collecting duct
collects urine from many nephrons so after that you have to draw this structure of nephron you have to draw label diagram of this nephron the next question is draw a labeled diagram of the human digestive system so students for this question you have to draw this diagram of human digestive system which consists of following parts tongue mouth oesophagus gallbladder stomach bile duct liver small intestine pancreas large intestine appendix and anus our next question is describe the different methods of asexual reproduction also give an example of each the different methods of asexual reproduction are as follows first method is vegetative propagation it is a type of asexual reproduction in which new plants are produced from roots stem and leaves next method is budding organisms such as hydra a bud develops as an outgrowth at one specific site these buds develop into tiny individuals and when fully mature detach from the parent body and become new independent individuals as you can see this budding process in hydra first of all a small bud develops on the side of hydra then this bud grows and when this bud becomes fully mature then it gets detached from the parent body and it become a new independent individual next method of vegetative propagation is fragmentation when water and nutrients are available algae grow and multiply rapidly and break up into two or more fragments these fragments or pieces grow into new individual this type of vegetative propagation is seen in spirogyra next method of vegetative propagation is spore formation the spores are asexual reproductive bodies each spore is covered by a hard protective coat to withstand unfavorable conditions such as high temperature and low humidity so they can survive for a long time under favorable conditions a spore germinates and develops into a new individual example spore formation occurs in fungus our next question is what is meant by puberty write down the changes that occur in boys and girls during puberty so its answer is puberty may be defined as that age at which the reproductive system of a boy or a girl becomes functional and production of sex hormones gets started in other words puberty is that age at which a boy or a girl becomes capable to reproduce the onset of puberty takes place at different age in boys and girls boys attain puberty at the age of 13 to 14 years while the girls attain puberty a little earlier than boys at the age of 10 to 12 years following are the examples of some characters 
विच आर फाउंड इन बॉयज और गर्ल्स ऑन अटेनिंग पोबर्टी इन बॉयज ड्यूरिंग पोबर्टी देर इज ग्रोथ ऑफ मोस्टेजिस एंड बियर्ड ग्रोथ ऑफ हेयर ऑन चेस्ट एंड इन द आर्म पिट्स ग्रोथ ऑफ प्यूबिक हेयर ब्रॉड शोल्डर्स deeper voice increased aggressiveness whereas following changes occur in girls during puberty growth of hair in armpits and pubic area soft skin less hair on the body shrill voice onset of menstrual cycles development of breasts so students these were question answers from our weekly ted series 2 which we have discussed today so in our next video we will discuss question answers of our weekly ted series 3 so thanks for watching our video